I have my pan over medium high heat and then I'm going to add some olive oil in there just a little bit I'm going to add some celery onion and this is a uh, mushroom that I put in the food processor chopped them up put that in there I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. And a little pepper. We're going to cook these up and I'm going to show you the best meatloaf that I've ever had. I also want to add garlic. That's two cloves of garlic I put in my garlic press. and We're going to put that in there. And just cook this up until it's soft. Well, this is cooked for uh, six minutes. It cooked for about three minutes with the garlic in there. And I have a package of Good Seasons Italian dressing mix. You know that where you add the oil and the vinegar. We'll go ahead and turn the heat off. And I'll mix this in. And stir it around. Uh, turn the heat off and I'm just going to uh, let this cool down now. Next I have in my bowl two eggs. I'm going to put some pepper in there. We've got half a teaspoon. I'm going to put some uh, mustard in here. About two teaspoons. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. And, you know, and here is soy sauce, two tablespoons, half a cup of milk, and about a tablespoon of uh, tomato paste. I'm going to add um, parsley that I chopped up, about half a cup. Mix this. And add one slice of bread and throw that in there and let that bread soak up the juices. Well, that bread is soaked for about five minutes, so it should just mix in there like mush. And we're going to add the mushroom mixture that's cooled off that we fried up the onions and celery and garlic, a little bit of salt. Mix that in there. And we can get rid of this. We're going to add one pound of ground pork. One pound of ground beef. Uh, the mixture of the two is much better than two pounds of ground beef, but you could do that if you wish. I'm going to mix this together. I have it all mixed up. I'm going to put it in my loaf pan here. It's fairly wet, which is what you want. That makes a good meatloaf. Like I said, this is the best meatloaf I've ever had. So I'm going to put this in here. And spread it out. And it goes in my 350 degree oven. I just pulled my meatloaf out of the oven. I baked it at 350 degrees for about 1 hour 40 minutes. And I used a thermometer and checked its temperature and uh, pulled it out at 158 degrees. So I'm going to let this cool down a bit. And here, I didn't show you, but I put like a whole head of garlic. I, I sliced off a bit of the top and uh, put a little olive oil on there and baked this as well. 
have a pot heating over uh, medium high heat and I just added like two cups of chicken broth that I made I made it homemade yay I'm gonna add some of the garlic that I baked just a little bit of it and squeeze it in there Get that peel off of there. Stir it up. Add three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to let this uh, gently boil for like uh, 15 minutes while the uh, meatloaf cools off. My chicken broth mixture has been, with the garlic, has been going for nine minutes just bubbling away. I'm going to go ahead and add some cornstarch water. A teaspoon of cornstarch and uh, one tablespoon of water. Add that in there. I'll add a little bit of salt because I did not. If you use like a store-bought chicken broth you may not need to add salt. And here I have a teaspoon of thyme a teaspoon of chives and a teaspoon of parsley. I add that in there. Go ahead and turn the heat off because this will thicken up pretty quickly just over the heat that's left, the residual heat. Well this is rested for about 10 minutes while I was making the gravy. I'm going to and take it just put it over here on this plate. And let it rest for about five more minutes. And I also want to say that, you know, if you wanted to, you could add like some ketchup on top and all that. But I'm just not going to do this this time because uh, I'm making the gravy. So here I have some of the best meatloaf in the world. Plate it up. Add some gravy. Oh yeah. And have a taste. Mmm. -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. This is just meatloaf heaven.